In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly the type of real estate investors that should be getting an LLC for the real estate business, the pros and the cons of an LLC in regards to real estate investing. If you're ready, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Now, I have to say it. I'm not a CPA and I'm not an attorney, so take everything I'm saying to you right now as my personal experience. I had to get that out of the way. So the first things first, we need to define what an LLC actually is. It stands for Limited Liability Company, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's limited liability. That means whatever happens to your your business, it happens to your business and not you personally. So let's take the common example of a tenant falling down the stairs because you neglected to fix the steps. Now they're suing you. If you bought that property in an LLC, they're suing the LLC and not you personally. Now, if you don't have an LLC and you have it in your personal name, then that's whenever they can actually come after, you know, your stocks, your, your car, your wages, etc. If you bought that property in an LLC, they can't come after you because it's limited liability. An LLC is not impenetrable. It's corporate veil can be pierced. That means that even if you bought the property and under an LLC, they can actually come after you personally. This doesn't happen all the time. And there are ways around that, but I'll get into that later in the video. Now that you know what an LLC is and how it can protect you, let's talk about some of the cons of an LLC. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of a con when it comes to an LLC is startup costs. Whenever you're creating an LLC, either on your own or with a lawyer, there are some startup costs. And depending on what state and how you structure your LLC, it can range between about $100 and $500. Okay, that's $500 down the drain. Well, now you have to keep up with the LLC. So there are some annual costs to keeping that LLC active. Again, whatever state you create the LLC with, it's gonna be you know about $100, $200, $300 to maintain that LLC every single year. Again, this all depends on what state you're forming that LLC. Not all states are created equal. Some states have better protection. Some states, you know, it costs more. Some states it costs less. They provide less protection. You just need to do your research on what state to create your LLC or better yet, just talk to an attorney. But be aware of that whenever you're going to talk to a lawyer about creating an LLC to buy real estate. Now, in my opinion, one of the biggest cons to investing in real estate under an LLC is you can no longer get a residential loan. So you can't be putting 15 to 20% down on a rental property. Now you might be able to get away with 20%, but more than likely a bank is going to make you put 25% down because it's now considered a commercial loan. So whenever a bank is saying that you are gonna be buying a property under an LLC, they now know it's gonna be an investment property. So no more are the days of you getting three and a half to five percent down to house hack a property, unless you wanna put it in your personal name, then you can absolutely do that because you get an FHA loan. But whenever you're wanting to house hack under an LLC, it's just not possible unless you want to put 20 to 25% down on that property, which then it kind of defeats the purpose of house hacking because the purpose of house hacking is putting a low down payment and then living rent free or mortgage free. So now that you're buying properties under an LLC, again, it's considered a commercial loan. So the rates are going to be higher and the loan terms are going to be shorter. Here's what that means. If you could get a 3% mortgage rate, well, now whenever you're dealing with commercial rates, it's going to be higher. So you might be getting a 4% interest rate. Now, whenever it comes to loan terms, they're most likely not going to give you a 30 year loan term. They're going to be giving you more like a 20 to 25 year loan term. It eats into your cash flow because that's going to be higher payments. If it's going to be a lower loan term, so like 25 or 20 to 25 years loan term instead of 30, again, that's going to eat into your cash flow. Now, one way to avoid all this is buying it in your name and then quit claiming it out of your name into your LLC. But be aware of this because if you do this and it gets back to the bank and you don't tell your bank and it gets back to them and they find out because they will be due to insurance reasons, they now have grounds to call your mortgage due. Now, whatever mortgage is left, let's just say you bought the property for $200,000 and you still have a loan for $100,000. Well, now that $100,000 that they can call due next month. So just be aware of that. Now, banks normally don't care if you do this, but what I highly suggest you do, if you're going to do this, you're going to buy in your personal name so you can get a better interest rate, you get a better loan term, call your bank that you got a loan from and ask them if you can quit claim it into your LLC. And if they say, yeah, sure, go ahead. Now you want that in writing. So get that in an email, get that in some form of writing. And so whenever, you know, this happens and they're like, oh, actually, you know, we're going to call your mortgage due. Now you have an email or some written form saying that you could do it. That's just one way to cover your bases. Okay, that's enough bashing of an LLC. We're going to get to some pros. But before we do that, if you want a real estate game plan to help you accelerate your financial freedom, you can hop on a call with me with the link in the description down below and take whatever situation you were in and create a custom game plan for you to help you achieve your financial freedom. Now let's get into those pros. Even though that the corporate veil can be pierced, it's most likely not going to happen. But the biggest pro is 
you're keeping your business and your personal life separate. But I wanna give you a helpful tent. So let's just say that you know you bought a property under an LLC and the tenant decides just to sue your business. Now let's just say you have that one property inside that LLC and that property doesn't have any equity. Now it doesn't really make sense for the tenant to sue that LLC because there's not much equity inside that property, so they're most likely not going to sue you. Now, let's just say, for example, that you have 10 properties inside that one LLC. Now, what if those 10 properties, the equity equals up to $1 million? You can bet your bottom dollar that the tenant is going to try and get as much money of that million dollars as they can because it doesn't matter what property that they're suing for, it matters that they're suing the business. So to understand this better, let's use an example as in they were going to sue you personally. Well, now they can sue your, your wages, they can sue to get your car, they can sue to get all these other different businesses, stocks, etc. So whenever they sue the business, they're suing everything inside of that business. So whenever I get this question all the time of how many rental properties should I be having in one LLC, my sweet spot is three because it has enough cash flow to cover the legal side of it, you know, maintaining and creating the LLCs. And having three properties inside of one LLC, more than likely, you're not going to have enough equity to make a tenant sue you worth it. Before I get into another big pro of buying rental property under an LLC, go ahead and hit that subscribe for me down below and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video just like this one. Another big perk of buying rental property under an LLC is privacy. So anytime anyone buys a property, the owners, information is going to go into the county records so at any point a tenant can look up their address at their county records office and find out who the owner of that property is so let's just say you bought it under your personal name well now they know if they go and look up their address at the county records office and they see that james holloway is the owner instead of one two three main real estate investing business llc and instead they see my personal name well now they can look me up on all different types of social media so if they look me up on facebook they can see you know who i am and possibly even where i live so if you have a disgruntled tenant that wants to do harm to you they now know where you live. That doesn't happen whenever you have an LLC because whenever you buy a property under an LLC, the LLC is now the owner. So the LLC's information is gonna be put in the county records. Now to the big question, should you get an LLC for your real estate business? Like in most things in real estate, it depends on your situation because if you are just starting out investing in real estate, more than likely you are not going to need to buy an LLC unless you just want it for peace and comfort, but that is going to affect your cash flow. But if you don't care about the peace of mind aspect of it, it doesn't really make much sense unless you have, let's just say a million dollars in stocks, a million dollars in the bank, that those are obviously extreme numbers. It would make sense to get an LLC to invest in real estate because you want to protect yourself against that. Now let's just say you don't have stocks, you don't have any other businesses, you maybe have $10 in the bank account, and that doesn't really make much sense to create an LLC for your real estate business because there's not much someone can sue you for. But you know who would have the best advice on whether or not you should get an LLC is an attorney and a CPA. They can look at your specific situation and tell if you need an LLC right now or if it's okay to wait. If you're new to real estate investing, there's a video popping up right here that shows you exactly how to run your numbers the right way and the fast way. So if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and click on that video right there or just book a call with me in the link in the description down below. But until the next video, I'm out. See ya.